we present a set of tools for placing cuts and transitions in interview video. Our interface has three panes, the video player, the timeline, and a transcript view that shows transcribed text time aligned with the footage. The editor first reads the transcript to identify content to include in the final edit. The transcript view is linked to the timeline, which makes it easy to find and play back the footage that corresponds to the highlighted text. So what we're trying to do is to bring to our customers the, the tools that will allow them to express. After choosing the content, the editor must decide where to place cuts to remove extraneous phrases and words. Here, the editor considers how to remove the phrase communicating that story. There are a few different ways of editing the text. For example, we could remove these words, or these ones. But the audiovisual attributes of the video make some cut locations more suitable than others. For example, the speaker is starting to gesture with his hands at the start and end frames of this segment. But he is relatively still in the start and end frames of this segment. We visualize the most suitable cut locations with vertical bars in the transcript view. And we plot the suitability scores for each frame in the timeline. These visualizations help the editor choose the best cut to remove this phrase. Deleting the text in the transcript generates a cut and propagates the edit to the timeline. By default, we generate a hidden transition. Of making a story. And, and in comparison, here is what a jump cut would look like. Of making a story. And the editor could alternatively choose to generate a longer pause part of making a story and in contrast if the editor had chosen the less suitable cut location the hidden transition would not be as smooth of making a story and with the, the the digital media and our system also detects ums and repeated words and evaluates whether such words can be replaced with hidden transitions if so the transcript highlights the word in red that will allow them to express the same kind of uh, sophisticated language. And the editor can remove it with a single click. The same kind of sophisticated layout. In some cases, the editor may decide to make a cut for purely semantic reasons, even though the cut suitability scores are low. Even in these cases, our system is often able to produce good hidden transitions. This changes the layout and the once the editor creates a cut, we automatically generate several types of transitions and let the editor review these alternatives. In this case, there was a camera move somewhere within the cut. Thus, even though our system produces a fairly seamless hidden transition, the result is not ideal. So what we're trying to do is to... The editor toggles through a few alternative transitions. With the HTML and CSS. So what we're trying to do is to... HTML and CSS. So what we're trying to do is to and chooses a zoom in jump cut instead. HTML and CSS. So what we're trying to do is to the editor continues in this manner. Here's a 10 second clip of the final edited result. So that if the orientation of your device changes, the layout and the text will reflow across all the different regions. The second enhancement that we're proposing is what we're calling exclusions. It's a way of making... Here's the same clip using only simple jump cuts. So that if the orientation of your device changes, the layout and the text will reflow across all the different regions. The second enhancement that we're proposing is what we're calling exclusions. It's a way of making... Here's our result again with a visualization showing when transitions and pauses occur. So that if the orientation of your device changes, the layout and the text will reflow across all the different regions. The second enhancement that we're proposing is what we're calling exclusions. It's a way of making... Here are some additional interview results. It was profoundly disturbing. I had a phone call from my daughter who said that she didn't know whether the house was standing. It was profoundly disturbing. I had a phone call from my daughter who said that she didn't know whether the house was standing. It was 
profoundly disturbing. As I had a phone call from my daughter who said that she didn't know whether the house was standing. Eighth and ninth grade. And the basic uh, idea that motivated this exhibit was birth, uh, air, eighth and ninth grade. And the basic idea that motivated this exhibit was birth, uh, air, eighth and ninth grade. And the basic uh, idea that motivated this exhibit was birth, uh, Our tools also allow editors to combine multiple takes of an actor telling a story. Here are 10 second clips of the final edited results. The hare and the tortoise. The hare was once boasting of his speed before the other animals. I have never yet been beaten, said he, when I put forth my full speed. I challenge anyone here to race with me. The hare and the tortoise. The hare was once boasting of his speed before the other animals. I have never yet been beaten, said he, when I put forth my full speed. I challenge anyone here to race with me. The hare and the tortoise. Nice. The hare was once boasting of his speed before the other animals. I have never yet been beaten, said he, when I put forth my full speed. I challenge anyone here to race with me. Keep your boasting until you have beaten, said the tortoise. Shall we race? So a course was fixed and a start was made. The hare darted out of sight at once, but soon stopped. And to show his contempt for the tortoise, lay down to have a nap. The tortoise plodded on and plodded on. Keep your boasting until you have beaten, said the tortoise. Shall we race? So a course was fixed and a start was made. The hare darted out of sight at once, but soon stopped. And to show his contempt for the tortoise, lay down to have a nap. The tortoise plodded on and plodded on. Keep your boasting until you have beaten, said the tortoise. Shall we race? So a course was fixed and a start was made. The hare darted out of sight at once, but soon stopped. And to show his contempt for the tortoise, lay down to have a nap. The tortoise plodded on and plodded on.